we've operated as what we call kind of islands. We are dependent on our patients to tell us when they've had encounters in other, in other hospitals and other hospital systems. And uh, we know that this is an extremely inefficient way of, uh, of us communicating. The Wisconsin Health Information Exchange, or WE, our vision is to improve the quality, safety, efficiency, and accessibility of health care and public health. The mission is to enable the secure, timely delivery of accurate electronic health information exchange to authorized users across corporate boundaries. That across boundaries concept, that healthcare exists in a community, not just within an integrated delivery network, is a very important concept. We realize how hard it is to standardize work within a single organization to take a process and really create a method to do that in a unique standardized way that is a unique challenge. Amalga is a software platform we've chosen for our exchange. It seemed to me to be the perfect kind of solution for uh, a regional system because of its ability to integrate with many, many, many different data feeding systems. Each of these hospitals have different systems and store data in different ways, and in, in essence, they speak their own language. Amalga then brings that data in to a regional system and acts as the translator. So no matter which place I'm working, I can understand the language that's being spoken at the other facility and have it, the data presented to me in a way that makes sense. It's given us uh, real-time information on our patients, so we're able to determine what testing has been done, where it's been done, do they have access to primary care, or have they just been using a local emergency rooms as a substitute for their primary care. It gives us uh, immediate information that we, use, that we can use at the bedside. And information for an emergency physician is gold. That way they know upfront what the patient's problems are, what previous types of care they've received, and they can really tailor the visit then based on that patient's specific past medical history. It's a way to keep healthcare costs down and the quality of care up. The impact that Amalga has had on our overall quality of patient care has been undeniable. The transition to Amalga was extremely smooth. The physicians picked up the system very rapidly. It's become a part that we couldn't live without. I mean, this is a part of our normal workflow on every patient we see. Everyone that's helping care for that patient is working off the same page or the same plan, and the patient ultimately gets better care. For example, a patient came in with chest pain and had EKG changes, and they're preparing to send the patient off to the cath lab for an, an emergency procedure. Uh, but looking at the Amalga data from the regional system, they realized that patient had been evaluated for chest pain just several days earlier at another hospital across town. The information you get from Amalga, medications, allergies to medications, give the physician taking care of the patient at that time yet another tool to maintain high safety profile. Amalga is a tool that allows us to establish role-specific views so that people having access to the exchange get to see only the parts that their role in healthcare delivery allows them to have access to. After you've used it and after you've incorporated it into your practice, you, you can't imagine going back. Well, the days are gone where we can be passive about waiting for information to protect the public's health. We need to have that information at a pulse level. The ability to collect information quickly from clinical sources allows the public health community to respond quickly to emerging infections. We use the same data feeds that we use for individual care, aggregate those data feeds and de-identify them so that the individual patients aren't identifiable. But then we can feed that data to the public health authorities and they can use it for surveillance to see what types of problems are coming in an increasing frequency in the community, whether it's an outbreak, an acute illness, or injury pattern. That allows them to ask questions. I mean, they may not even be aware of the question they want to ask today. And they can create new questions on the fly. The partnership with Microsoft has accelerated success in this community in terms of information exchange. It's allowed us to step outside of conventional methodologies to move into model methodologies that are going to have us lead information exchange as a region. In the future, if you don't have a product like this that allows us to share information 
across an entire system, you're going to be at a detriment compared to other places that have it. And the, the, the really exciting part is we've just started. We have only scratched the surface of the opportunity that we have here in using information. And the idea is that if this is a, a cell of information and we can link within this region, then why can't we link regionally and then nationally or internationally?